Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 9th of the November Leco Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. And today we have a hard problem, it seems like. Uh, so come join the Discord, let me know how you solved it. Um, I am solving this live, so if it's a little bit slow, feel free to watch on 2x. Fast forward, whatever you need to do, skip ahead. Watch another video. I, I mean, you know, it's up to you. You do the math. Okay, so today's problem is number of valid words for each puzzle. So... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut in right here. I'm gonna do the exponent. Uh, if you're seeing me now, it's usually because I this is a long video, and I'm gonna do the explanation now. And you can kind of watch me go through it during the the actual live coding. Um, the the short reasoning. Is, uh, I mean, the reason why I took so long, to be honest, is just because I keep on misreading this problem. I knew how to do it. I know the ideas and everything's not that bad. Um, but I took a long time because I keep misreading the problem. But that said, you can kind of see where my mind is going. And if you and I go through my explanations and how if you kind of see how I build my components, um, they all they all get reused so that even though I misunderstood certain parts of it, I reused so much of the code that um, that that's how that's that's what it means to be writing good code, right? That's what it means to write good modular code is that you you can use we use these code in different ways um, if the needs arise. Um, okay, so let's go over this one really quickly. Um, I I totally misread this one a little bit uh, or a lot because this is I end up spending a way ridiculous long time on this one. Um, but basically, the idea is always pre-processing on these ones um, with with query type things. Um, and what I did here is that that um, instead of I mean, in, the way that they phrase it, it may be very tempting to kind of pre-process a puzzle and then look up words. Um, but here, the way that I did it is to pre-process words. And the way that I pre-process words is that by making a few observations, the first one being that um, uh, we only care about unique characters. So yeah, unique characters only. Um, yeah, and there are a couple of optimizations that we could have made, but we only care about unique characters. And, and then we kind of, after we get the unique characters, we put everything in a bit mask. Now, just to be clear, a bit mask is a little bit uh, of a daunting word, and it's a little bit, conf you know, like it's a little scary sounding. But all that all that is is a boolean array, right? Uh, a boolean array of twenty six characters. So here, let's say we have this function that's get mask. Another way you can think about writing it is is, and I did this during the the video because I wanted to be a illustrative um so you could say something like this is equal to force times 26 one for each letter and then for c in word you have used of uh, um well yeah you do the same thing where you convert it to between 0 and 25 and then you set this to true and then you return this used thing and all that is difference is that from the difference between here and here the only thing that uh, let's say this is used um the only thing that converts to, that you need to do is that given this array, um, you you have a function that's something like uh, duh, 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 if used of i um, mask duh, 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 one one if i. That's basically the entire thing, um, and the reason why you you use a bit mask it, um, instead of a boolean array, even though you can, is because you may need it for certain things. In my case, um, you want to put it in a hash table and. It, and yeah, I know this frozen set and stuff like that, but this just makes it, um, it's more efficient, it's more, um, yeah, it's more efficient in general, and that's why people use bit masks, um, and therefore lookups are faster and stuff like this, right? Um, but otherwise, the, the idea is the same thing. So I want you to kind of keep that in mind about bit masks, and don't be intimidated by them. Um, anyway, so we hear. So what we're saying is that for each word, hash the set of characters. That's basically what what the mask does. Um, and then we just look it up. We just increment it by one, right? Um, so this is going to be n l time because where l is the length of the um, uh, the length of the word. 
Um, in the, but of course, you can also do a quick thing of if this this thing is bigger than uh, seven, then it doesn't fit. But but yeah, but this is n times l time, n times l time, and all of n space because well, this lookup thing has, for every word in words, we have one thing in word lookup, right? So this this is why this is linear time. Oh, sorry, linear space, but all of n times l time. And for the answer, uh, or, or for the for the puzzle part, um, we're gonna have all p space. You can't really do better than that because that's that's the size of the answer that you're returning. And and basically here is just you're doing brute force, right? Um, for example, you have this thing a b c d e f g. Um, all we do now is brute force on on okay, so. So let's say we have this 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 word or this puzzle. Um, all we do is count. Okay, how many A's are there, or the, where the entire word is A? Uh, how many is there where the entire word is A B? How many A you know A C, A D dot dot dot, and then A B C, A B C or A B D or whatever you know. Basically, all possible combinations. Um, and if, and because the the thing that I to notice is that because the length of a puzzle is at most seven and the first character is fixed, it has to be in the word. That means that this is actually only two to the six, oops, two to the six number of operations or two to the L. Uh, you want to be, you want to say that this is two to the L minus one, which is, um, you know, two to the six at most, uh, which is of course all of, all of two to the L, right? Um, so this is for each word, all of two to the L for each word, uh, and this is very basic um, uh, uh, brute force of you know. Here we use we use this character, and here we don't. If we don't, we just keep on going. If we do, uh, we keep going, but we also update the mask. And again, this this thing all it does is equivalent to to setting. Um, is saying okay, we have this character, and we want to set it to true, and then we want to set that update mask to set that to true. Um, so that's basically the idea, and and yeah, and now at the way end after you used up all the characters of the puzzle, you just kind of count how many lookups are there, how many words are there with that mask, right? Um, and that's basically it. Um, yeah, and this is going to be 2 to the L in total, like we said. And because there are P of these, there's 2 to the L times P. Um, and in total, therefore, it's of NL plus P times 2 to the L. It's time. And for space, it's of N plus P plus L. Um, so basically, that's my short explanation. Let me know what you think. It's really just brute force in a lot of ways, but trying to figure out different ways of brute forcing and different ways of lookuping and trying to make the math work because it's everything is trade-off like we brute force on mask or sorry we brute force on words can we you know get the answer and how, what's the complexity of that and, and there's a lot of me just talking through that uh, if you want something that's more detailed especially the evolution of how it goes um, keep watching um, it's coming up this is just so that you know you have an idea of how to get the answer yourself anyway Stay good, stay healthy. Hopefully you don't struggle reading as much as I did. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye. So, giving a puzzle, what's a puzzle? Uh, a word is rather with both sides, right? Word contains the first letter of puzzle. For each letter and word, that letter is in puzzle. For example, the puzzle is ABCDFG. Faced. For each letter in word, that letter is in puzzle. Okay. Uh, that seems not hard, or maybe I'm confusing it a little bit. Number of words in the. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. Let, well, let's let's finish reading the constraints. There are a lot of words. Each of them maybe not that long, but longish. Um, and there are a lot of puzzles as well. Uh, but each puzzle is at most seven. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Word contains the first letter of puzzle. Okay. 
uh, for each letter in word, that letter is in puzzle. Okay. If the puzzle is A, B, C, D, F, G, A has to be in word, and every letter in word has to be in puzzle. Okay. Beefed, uh, and okay. And the other thing to note is that um, the, the count doesn't matter in puzzle, meaning that cabbage has two Bs, even though puzzle has one thing. So, okay. Hmm. How do I just want to think about this? So, I think the, 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 um, hmm. Another, so there are a couple of things I'm thinking about right now, and I'm trying to kind of really understand this problem a little bit as well, to be honest. Um, but one thing is that the length of the puzzle is seven, meaning that we can probably do some kind of, uh, uh um, we can do some sort of calculations, right? Um, like some kind of pre-cash calculations. And let's double check. So every letter and word has to be in puzzle. Um, but that means that because there are only seven of these, it makes it a little bit easier. I mean, the, the, the this thing doesn't really matter. This thing um, where it contains the first letter of puzzle is just a simple filter. So, you know, like we can do a really easy filter. That's not, you know, you can all, almost like dividing things to each other. So it's really not a big deal. Um, but then now we can, that means that puzzle will contain at most seven characters. And because of that, uh, words or each word will have at most seven, or not seven characters, but seven distinct characters, right? Um, and that'll be good. So that means that, okay. So what's two to the seventh, right? Uh, let's see, because <laughs> I'm bad at <laughs> math. 128. So 128 for each. Um, yeah, each puzzle. And 128 for each word, right? So what's 128 times 10 to the fifth? Let's see, I'm just, uh, I'm plugging in the calculators because I'm a little bit bad today. I think I also missed by one. Uh, okay, so that's 12.8 million. So that should be fast enough. Whew. Mm, it's a, I think that's a little bit on the slower side, to be honest. Um, mm, just a little bit. I think maybe if I did it in Java, it would be fast enough. But even then, I'm not sure because uh, a lot of that lookup table will be on... <clears throat> a lot of that will be lookup tables. But that said, let's see, two to the seven. Is there, we can, I guess my question is, is there some sort of dynamically programming e thing that we can do? And I guess there is, right, <clears throat> to pre-process. I don't know if it's necessary, to be honest, but it can be done, right? Um, in that, Eh, no, that doesn't make sense though. I think the way that I'm thinking of a dynamic programming might be something like ends up way too much. Mm, let, let me think. No, I mean, I think dynamic programming should be okay. But now, mm, no, because I, I don't know if that gets too much memory. Um, hmm. Hmm. That is a weird one. I still think the seven will probably be the key. Puzzle length is not that many puzzles, so that's oh actually that's something that I didn't really look at enough. The puzzle length means that 
there are probably things you can do easier. Hmm. Let me let, let me think about this again. Uh, actually, I think I, I mixed up uh, what's in words and what's in puzzle. So I think that actually is the situation because for every word, yeah, I, I think I'm I'm uh, confusing myself too much. For every word, we map it to a thing because every letter has to be in puzzle okay so that's not that bad i think my first instinct was correct in that it is not that bad but i think i confused myself a little bit mm. maybe i don't know give me a second to think about this I think I'm, I'm confusing myself today a lot. I'm, I'm a little tired, not going to lie, but that's no excuse. Um, okay, so, but there is, I think, well, I think we're on the right track. I'm a little bit slow, but, um, but we have to figure out how to kind of handle it in a good way, right? So basically, for example, what, what I have so far is, let's say this is the puzzle, um, and we have some, you know, we stored in some bit mask inside the thing. Um, that's fine, but then how do you match this with cabbage right well well we know that let's just say let, let's i mean we're going to do an actual implementation something differently but let's say we have a b was it c g e or e g hmm. and that's that's inside this obviously um Yeah, so th that's inside this, but if you do something like a bit mask, oh, I see. Hmm, how many words are there? Ten to the fourth. Okay, I think I I did the math wrong on this one because I my, so my initial instinct, or maybe I don't know if that was my initial instinct, but I think I. I think I just mixed things up, to be honest, because it doesn't really make sense to do a permutation of this because we need to use every word, right? Um, but I, I think I multiplied the 128 times 10 to the 5th instead of 10 to the 4th. And th that factor of 10 actually ends up making a huge difference, right? Because 2 to the 7 times 10 to the 4th is now 1.28 million. And 1.2 million is way faster than 12 million. So I definitely made some silly, I don't know, I think I got crossed up a lot. But basically the idea is that, okay, um, let's say we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, so this is the, the 2 to the 7 minus 1 maybe um, co combinations, right? Of course you would know this. Um, and then we basically populate each of those answers and then do the lookup in O of 1. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that that's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. That, I think that was my first thought, but I got confused by N and M or whatever you want to call it. Um, so whoopsie daisies. I think, yeah, I think this is not that bad. Okay. Uh, I've been doing that a lot lately, to be honest, where I'm just misreading something a little bit on the constraints, even though as after right after I get the constraints correct, I think I'm okay. Um, of course, we have to go, I mean, so th that's the worst case, but we still have to go back to do the word contains the first letter of a puzzle. Um, so that it's not that bad. Um, we just have to group by puzzle. So, so this is a uh, pre-processing problem. So for a puzzle in puzzles, we do something like okay, the first character. Um, so now we just have a lookup maybe of Rick of uh. Uh, int, right? Technically, I didn't even, mm, does this make sense? No, I mean, I think this can be a 26 by 26 array, um, a matrix, because you just, oh, no, 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 that's not true. It's 26 by 2 to the, 
No, I guess it actually could be way bigger than that. It's, it's not just 2 to the 27, but... I mean, it's two. I mean, that's not the upper bound, but hmm, but but that's bound by ten to the fourth. So anyway, okay, that that that's good. I mean, we'll just keep it this way for now. Um, though maybe we can at least have twenty six of these. So okay, let's have twenty six of these. One for the first character, and then the second one for um, the second one for. Uh, a bit mask of them okay so now for puzzles so now first character is equal to of course puzzle of zero uh we have at least one character right because otherwise this is silly oh no it's exactly seven huh actually i missed reading that or i didn't misread it i just did not read it i missed reading it so okay so first is equal to puzzle so look up uh first i mean let's just say we convert this to um, Um, so look up a first. We append the or uh, we set uh, some kind of mask is equal to uh, or we increment by one. I guess that's pretty much it, right? And then we just have to get the mask. Mask is equal to go. Uh, uh, let's just say get mask puzzle. And this is just basically what we want to do is uh, essentially. What we want to do here is getting um get um get a get a boolean 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 array of 26 elements one for each character so the way that you'd write this of course you have you know someone like this but then we convert it to a buzzer so um, I'm going to do it the stupid way, um, just for illustration. If it ends up being too slow, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, if it ends up being too slow, I'm going to rewrite this, but um, I'm doing this for the people at home to kind of figure out, because I think one thing that gets very, uh, people get confused a little bit is about Bitmask, and I just want to show that Bitmask is a, is, is a really fancy way of just saying uh, Boolean array, um, except for you kind of compressed into one, you know, you use it each bit um, instead of having an array syntax, right? So let's just say we have um, uh, array is equal to this times 26, one for each character, right? Um, like I said, if this gets too, one, if, if I time limit from this, this is just for illustration at home. But then now we have for um, character in puzzle. Um, so then, Mm, so then the order in value is equal to order of this minus O D A. Um, so this is to map it from 0 to 25. And then away. Uh, this is a terrible name. How do I want to go? It? Um, used. It's slightly better. It's not that much better, but slightly better. It's going to true, right? So this is basically all we're doing. And then at the very end, we will return used. But of course, you cannot... Um, you cannot use an array to this. You can do something like a frozen set if you really liked, but, but, but you know, uh, we're gonna convert this to a bit mask, uh, and the bit mask that we have is um, actually this may be too slow to be honest because we have uh, maybe it should be okay. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so then now just converting this to bit mask, right? Uh, so bit. Uh, why is this in red? So mask is equal to zero for um, i in range of twenty six. If you stop i, i is equal. Or if if we use it, then we set the bit to true, right? Um, of course, you can see that you can actually skip this step from being used to here. Um, I'm just doing this for for illustrating how. Bit masks work, um, and the idea here is that this is how you flip the bit mask. Because this this operation is equivalent to this operation essentially, right? Um, so yeah, okay. So then now we do finish the lookup. Um, yeah, looks okay, right? And then now for word in words, we also um, hmm, maybe I, so we know that we have the first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're okay. Though it adds a factor of seven on the brute force. 
Um, and of course, you can actually make some optimization here as well, though maybe very minor. Maybe it doesn't matter, actually. In that, you know, if uh, you would only get the bid mask on the second se second half, but I don't know if that's necessary. Okay, so basically, we try each puzzle where... Um, um, yeah, we try each one puzzle. So for, let's just say I, or let's just say for, um, for first invert, eh, maybe that's a little bit confusing actually. But but basically it says trying out the first character. Um, and this is kind of brute force in the sense that um, if, um, if th um, the character is the first character in puzzle, how many words do we get, right? So mask is you go to get mask of word, and actually we can do this first. Um, so that would be more more cheaper. And then here we have total in general for the to absolute total. And here we increment or we add it by the the lookup of uh, first. Mm, yeah. Okay. So. For each character in word, we'll say this is the first character. Um, and then now we do a lookup, assuming this is the first character and the mask. Um, and then that's pretty much it, really. Um, I think I spent a lot of time because I misread it, because I, my coding is re relatively quick, though, of course, I'm I'm slowing down to kind of ex do an explanation. But um, Zoom was not, would I misread? What am I doing? Well, oh, oh. Well. Oh, this is not a total. I just, I forgot. I, I've been talking so long that I forgot what the problem is. So actually this is, um, you have to do it for each one. So, so yeah, I mean, this is straightforward. Well, I hope that this makes sense. This is just me doing each one instead of totaling because I, I think I just assumed it was totaling. Of course this doesn't work. <laughs> so I guess I'm wrong. And also we have to mix some optimization here otherwise it may nah, i think this is okay it's just a little bit slower or it uses a little bit more memory though mm, maybe we have some mistake here hmm. dun, dun, dun. let's print out lookup real quick i probably have some typo hopefully it's just a typo and nothing silly uh, mm, okay, this is not that easily readable. Oh, this is re the the thing is a int class int. Oh no no no, that th that part is okay, and we have a lot of these. Hmm. Why does that print this part so much? I guess that repeats, but okay. So why why doesn't this exactly? Oh, I'm I'm being s no. Hmm. Did I forget something? Oh, I forget the actual. I forgot the two to the seven part. That's why. Okay, I'm being silly. Um. So basically, uh, okay, fine. Um, eh. yeah, I think I, I kind of mixed it up, up here because this gets the bit mask of the this thing. Um, and then now, uh, how do I want to explain? I mean, I it's not that bad to explain it, but I just try to figure out how to explain it. Um, okay, actually, let me rewrite this. I think the way that I, I write this was that I wanted to learn or I wanted to teach, but I think, um, yeah, maybe this is fine. Um, let's just say... Oof, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, and then let's just say... Let's just do this recursively. Um, I've been doing... I, I think recurs recursively is slightly easier um, to understand, maybe. Hmm. I I I think I was too focused on teaching that I, I honestly miswrote this. My apologies for people at home, 
Um, but yeah, but basically what we want to do now is kind of basically do a, do a brute force 2 to the 7, right? Because we know puzzle is at most length 7. So we so let's um, let's construct all 2 to the 7 possibilities, right? Um, so basically what we want to do here is that, for example, if we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we want to increment the map such that we we match we match this we match um, I don't know the one without the G we match uh, the one without the F we match you know basically all possibility right so that we can do this lookup in all one time so this we we want to keep and do um, but then now we want to do a combination here right so yeah. So then now let's just say gen maybe um, we want to do a generation of the i word or the i puzzle um, with a current bit mask and oh yeah and just zero and oh I guess the bit mask is zero actually and from to, to start and the zero index of the puzzle okay right and then now we do something like okay so gen we have uh, word index we have the bit mask uh, bit mask and then we have the hmm, maybe is word index confusing uh, character index maybe C index for character index so then now now um, if C index is equal to word uh, the length of words of word index that means that we've reached the end. This is general. This is way, um, this is two to the end type brute force stuff. So ho hopefully this makes sense. But then now here we go, okay, look up of, um, oh, I didn't do, um, I guess I have to pass in first actually. Uh, I mean, you, you could do it without it because of scope type things, but this is easier to be clean. Um, increment by one uh, and then return, right? Otherwise, we just this is very basic uh, things um, in terms of yeah. So we want to do something to the mask plus, uh, and then we have C index plus one, right? So we we want to do two things. One is use C index and not use C index. And not use C index is of course pretty trivial. We just do nothing and th that here we, we want to use it. We um, do, 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 how do I want to say it? Um, whew, what's a word index <laughs> uh, of C index? Oops, minus this. Um, of course, make sure you get your parens. I always do. Um, and yeah, and this will basically. This is basically what we had earlier, but. Little bit less readable because it's a one liner, but um, but yeah, okay. Well, that's something up. Mm. Minus so this is a string. Oh, I forgot the order in string. Mm. Huh, oh, yeah, right, sadness. Oh, I, no, 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 I still needed that. Hmm. Well, that's a sadness that I deleted it. Hmm. <sighs> Larry, Larry, Larry. Larry, Larry, Larry. Do, 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 Sorry, friends. Uh, <laughs> today's a little bit, I don't, I mean, I, I, the sad thing is I actually know what I'm doing, kind of, uh, but I'm just being like really, all over the place. Maybe I need more sleep, um, but because it's not really that hard of a problem. Uh, I keep saying that, but I keep on messing it up. So I don't know. You, t you tell me. <laughs> um, so always you go do this, um, and we'll do. What, what, uh, is that too slow? Okay, fine. All right, let's just go straight to the mass this time. Um, uh, 
Hmm. Did I mess that up? Oh, this is puzzle. Whoops. Ah. I'm really sloppy right now. Sorry, friends. My apologies. And I again once once again confused the puzzles and the word for the second time. Oops. For the second time in this far I'm confusing myself. And also wrong answers. Hmm. That's a little bit sad. But it, but it looks like if I have to guess, it's mapping something to zero. So hmm. Get mask, no word. That sounds okay. Let's, let's, hmm. I think this is also one thing where I usually am better about testing um, incrementally. So this looks okay. Or it looks not stupid. Um, but right now I definitely did not um, do that. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Or I know, I don't, I, clearly I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing wrong here. I uh, forgot to do this. Uh, kind of rushed this part because I was getting. I don't know, long. Okay, so now we we are doing a little, little bit better. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh. I think I... Uh, I think I'm... Uh, my, uh, I did the wrong problem, or uh, kind of. Um, in that <sighs> um, I did the wrong well, I mean, okay, I did the wrong problem in that um. I, for each word, I, I match the number of puzzles, but it's asking for number of words p per puzzle. Oh my. And really sloppy today. Um, okay, let me think about what this means. I think I keep on confusing myself. This has been a very confusing day. Um, okay, so what does that mean, right? Um, can we do anything naively? Because if we do... Because if we do, that's no good. Um, but I think that's, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I, I think we're okay. Um, I think we just have to um, reverse some mapping stuff. Sorry, friends. I don't, I, this is probably not a great explanation video at this point. Um, but hopefully, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully this is a good learning process in reading the, the, problem <laughs> um okay so i guess what we can do now is just uh, move this to uh, look up look up of mask uh, increment by one so this is our oops this is our lookup Let's do the star lookup first. Um, we no longer do we need this. Mm, yeah, okay. I mean, I think we have all the ideas, but I'm just a little bit tired as well. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Because I think from here we can go. Okay, we don't need this yet. Um, okay, so now that we pre-process all the word, we can look at the puzzle. How do we look at the puzzle? Um, we do all this stuff, and instead of having look up now, we can go go do this thing. Um, the only thing that we have to change with the brute force is we don't have to care about first anymore. Um, we just have to make sure that every 
because now we, we just check it's not that hard we just check that a a um yeah all the subsets so it's two to the six now on the substring uh instead of a and i think that should be okay um yeah so first is you go to this thing so then this is our mask now and we start at number one and then we do jan jan uh here we what do we do what do we do we oh yeah okay so then now let's just say duh, 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 we append uh, oops uh, what am i doing we append this and then now here we answer of last one we incremented by word lookup of mask um okay i mean there's some opt some minor optimizations we can do but let's let's just do this we'll see if that is okay for now um okay mm, let's move this up i think one thing that maybe is a good lesson for you maybe just you know uh in a in a in a silver lining kind of way is that you do get an idea of seeing how how sometimes if you write if you write modular good enough code you are able to do, make these changes very quickly and also that said i got my my initial timing complexity uh yeah anyway well, let me finish that thought first yeah i mean as you can see um even though i end up solving the wrong problem a lot of these things we end up reusing because the ideas and the concepts are mostly there it's close enough, right? Um, the other thing I would say is that my my initial analysis was really wrong because I was doing solving the wrong problem. Um, otherwise, this is actually way easier um, for sure. Or by easy, I mean like complexity wise easier. Like there's more breathing room before the time limit exceeded. So uh, yeah, we actually didn't even use any of these. So let's get rid of these. Um, yeah. Uh, let's give it a submit, I want to say. Am I missing anything silly? Uh, I mean, it looks okay. and I uh, I think the, the tricky thing, sometimes the, the trick is noticing what inputs they give you. And one thing is that every um, every puzzle, oh no, there's a G here. But every, for almost for the most part, every puzzle, um, you know, like everything kind of matched up. So I don't know. Okay, let's give it a submit. Uh, we get a wrong answer, we get a wrong answer. Um, okay, cool. 588. This is my first time solving this problem. Um, not bad, I think. Maybe. I don't know. One second. I, eh, one second is probably okay. Let's go over the complexity really quick. Um, so, yeah. So, this is it. Uh, and there are a couple of optimizations, really minor optimizations. But, but, yeah, for this one, this is just going to be... So, this word lookup thing will have at most... Uh, so let's say n is the number of words. So word lookup will have all of n things, right? So that's all of n space for this for this particular part, not not the entire thing. Um, so let's do space first because it's a little bit easier. The way is going to be all of m, where m is the or let's do all of p for puzzles. Um, space for the answer, and you can't really do any better than that because you need this for the space. Um, yeah. Uh, and this one, the recursion, again, we base the recursion based on the fact that that um, the length of the puzzle is 7. So this is only going to be at most 7. But I'll just write, um, so this stack space can be at, at most O of L, um, right, uh, for the stack space. And yeah. And, I, and, and if you're careful, you would do something like if mask is in word of lookup, so you don't keep on creating these things. Because what happens here, and sometimes this will bite you, um, and maybe, we, um, yeah, this will bite you. So be careful about that. But if you had just win this thing, this would be much faster because, um, because you're not creating extra space. Um, so you use less space, and also because you're using less space, it's easier to search um on a lookup table um yeah i think that's it for space right so that means that the total space is going to be o of n plus p plus l uh space and in terms of time let's see this is o of n this is also 
uh, this is all of L, so this is going to be all of L time, uh, all of L and L time uh, for this component. Uh, for this component, well, for th this is the actual loop. This is just a function. Um, for, this is going to be an over P loop. And for each over P, we do two to the L uh, work. Um, right, because this is just recursion type stuff. Um, and as a result, this is act this loop total time, it's going to be O of 2 to the L uh, times P. And that means that our total time, it's going to be o, o of NL plus, uh, what did I say? P times 2 to the L time. So that's basically our time and th that's basically our space. And if you plug in the numbers, you'll see that they're very satisfactory. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for, <laughs> I don't know if you're here. If you're here, uh, leave a comment about, I don't know, persistence or something like that. Thank you for your support. Thank you for cheering me on to the end. Um, yeah. Um, happy Monday, right? Oh, excuse me. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later. Goodbye.